Yeah, good evening. Tonight, two people are in custody after that chase that went from Oak Brook to Elmhurst over a distance of more than four miles before it came to a crashing end. We also know 10 people were taken to the hospital after that crash, including five children. St. Charles is a busy road and um, it was nerve wracking to see all the commotion. A crashing end to a chase happening right in front of Jackie Hood's house Friday afternoon. She was in her backyard with her three kids when she heard tires screeching. I ran to my gate in the driveway um, and I saw at that time um, two cars crash um, right on our front lawn. Neighbor Mike Conti also hearing the crash and seeing the aftermath. A lot of police officers sort of guns drawn uh, and uh, you know guy on the ground eventually people getting arrested. Sources say police were pursuing a possible armed robbery suspect in a stolen car with this all starting near 22nd Street and Midwest Road in Oak Brook. That pursuit eventually entering into Elmhurst when the suspect driver turned eastbound on St. Charles Road from Route 83. I was initially just like shocked at what I was seeing and then um, fear, you know, I wanted to make sure my kids were safe. So quickly ran inside. Elmhurst police say they didn't initiate the pursuit but responded to multiple scenes. The driver running from police reportedly sideswiping a school bus only occupied by its driver near St. Charles and Berkeley before sideswiping another vehicle near St. Charles and Spring Road right near York High School. I was also thinking of the high school students that we have um, just a block down the street that are usually out and about walking home from school at that time. No one was injured in either of those crashes. Residents say many students walked by the spot on St. Charles near Argyle where this all came to an end after the suspect driver hit another SUV, pushing it onto the sidewalk. Definitely a close call and you know somebody was in the wrong place at the wrong time, but uh, hopefully they're all right. Elmhurst Fire and Mutual Aid responding to the scene, taking 10 people to area hospitals with minor injuries including two adults in the SUV hit by the suspect driver. Two people, a man and woman who were in the GMC, were taken into custody by Oak Brook police. There was a swarm of um, police and it, you know, it looked like everything was handled and under control and um, you know, it felt very safe. Now, given the proximity to where this pursuit came to an end, York High School was placed in a lockdown temporarily this afternoon until the scene was deemed safe. In total, in the suspect vehicle, there were eight people, including three adults and five children. It's not clear what the two people taken into custody from that suspect vehicle could be facing as far as charges go. Reporting live tonight in Elmhurst, Courtney Spinelli, WGN News.